Hello everybody, nice to have you back for moving day here in Estehagen 2024 Norway Open. Second round front nine MPO lead car and my name is Maxim Tange and with me Andrew Gum. Super happy to be here for this moving day action. We got a really stacked lead card for the third event of the European season here on the Disc Golf Pro Tour. Yeah, silver event, that's gonna be fun man. Really nice card, we have new faces, we have also OGs. So yeah, can't wait for the action to start here. Yeah man, weather looks good, everything uh, everything is there man. Yeah, weather's perfect, the course is beautiful. Stacked lead card as we said. And yeah, first on the tee, eight down yesterday, Linus Axelsson with an amazing ace on hole five, island hole. Coming from Boras, representing Clash Discs, first time on the lead card, let's see. Yeah, we got a very familiar face in Lauri Lettinen, sponsored by Latitude 64, coming out of Yuba School of Finland. Yeah, he's a super good player, happy to have him back on the lead card. Yeah man, Machine, coming from Finland, and third on the card, we'll have Silver Lat coming from Estonia, representing Latitude 64, another familiar face. And we end up with... Yeah, he's a veteran, and we have Clay Edwards coming from the Charlotte area in North Carolina, representing Castaplast, and uh, really great to have a different nationality represented here on the European scene. Yeah, that's a perfect group, man. A lot of countries represented, and let's start with this amazing 98 meters hole one. Yeah, wide open. Uh, it's a temporary hole for this layout. Uh, normally we start on hole two. If you come to play your casual round here, which I would totally recommend, definitely a bucket lister. It's, it's hazard all the way up to the island there and OB surrounding the basket on all sides. More space on the left side if you want to bail out with the righty backhand hyzer. Seems to be a safe play. Yeah, a straight shot with a mid-ranger of butter or a hyzer line with a fairway. Yeah, Lena's going straight at it and just parks it. Beautiful. Comfortable, man. He trusts his game, going straight at the basket. Yeah, Lowry goes with the fairway driver and kind of spikes it in here. Really close to the ace. Goes a little long. It's gonna have a slight tester there to get it started. Yeah. Ace fairway driver, Nico. Silver, forehand. Really nice. Ha had a little bit of a misrelease yesterday and skipped OB, so good correction there. It looks like he's gonna be in prime position for the birdie now. Exactly. Good correction from Silver. Almost parked. And same thing for Clay. Good start for the, the entire card. Yeah, everybody's close with a birdie look. See if we can get a star frame here. And who do we have here? The crazy hype man. The hyper hype man from Finland, Tommy Tico. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Lowry just low on that one. Yeah, and he had uh, some struggles yesterday also with uh, the C1 putting. Needs to work on it. Yeah, a very dangerous player if he's putting well. Could be right up there with the best in the world, no doubt. Just gotta find that comfort on the green. Solid stroke from Silver, easy bird. Yeah, good from the Estonian. Same for Clay, should be cake for Linus part. Good start for the group, just Lowry. Miss release on that, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna be all good. 17 holes to go, hole two. Par three, 101 meters. Straight shot through the woods, two lines to take, right or left. OB all along that left side, so the right side may be a little bit safer play, especially for the righty, righty backhand shot. Uh, you gotta be really careful with the speed control coming in. OB's right behind the basket, as you can see, and it kind of slopes down a little bit too, so if you're not careful, you can blow right past there and get yourself a penalty. Yeah, control the distance, pick your gap. Pretty sure Silva is going for the left side, as the other one are going for the back end, so right side is definitely the option. Yep, hole one averaged right at 3.0 and hole two at 2.99, so pretty good design there. You know, a little bit of score yep. separation right from the beginning. Right at the par. And Linus going right side as we expected. Yeah, late three kick, it's all good. Around 15, 16 meters, death butt. We'll see if he wants to go for it. And that's perfect. Super smooth flick from Silver, as per usual. Stop. Almost hits the pole. Checks up nicely. Looks like he's gonna go two for two. Yep. Yeah. Needs to work five, six meters, but... Looks like Clay's taking a mid-range, trying to 
go on that right side and hmm. kind of split the trees it looked like yeah i'm not sure i'm not sure if he was left side of those trees but i'm pretty sure it's not the gap he was looking for okay so now we can Lowry doubt the, our theory about that hole Lowry went the left side there yeah, with a little yeah. bit of a hyzer flip up like maybe an understable mid or putter oh linus going aggressive on this but very good run there hits the top band Lowry here from the bushes heavy chains but no bird yeah, good height. Just need to find his line. Oh, there you go. Really nice stroke from Clay. Two for two. He's so dialed. I think it's, you know, his main strength. His disc golf uh, package, let's say. And the practice round was really impressive. Same for silver. Two in a row. It's pretty stacked, huh? Score-wise. Yeah, three nines and an eight. And Lowry is not in the lead anymore, fourth now. So we have a tie, three players after two holes and now we are on hole three, 115 meters. Yeah, a really nice par three, straight shot through the woods that needs to fade left at the end. A little bit OB early right, but doesn't come into play so much. You just gotta you know, like work around these trees that you see on your left here and then get it to fade right at the end and skip up to the basket. Yeah, try to go as straight as possible. Not with an overstable disc, but try to keep your line 400 meters and then let the fade do the job to bring your disc under the pin. Easy in theory. Let's see the real action. Definitely a backhand hole if Silver's going backhand, but he early releases it straight into the woods. Oh my. That's gonna be a tough scramble spot. You know, we were talking about sweaty hands because of the weather. Yeah. Do, do you feel it was the, the same problem yesterday? Yeah, I think it was pretty warm as well. Maybe not quite as humid as the first day. Seemed to have dried out a little bit after the sunny kind of opening yeah. opening round, but um, yeah, it might be, oh no. Yeah, Clay. weird release from uh, Silver and a bit late for Clay on this one. And bad kick to the right side. Let's see if he can scramble. Got past the OB, but uh, might be a tough place to get up and down from still. Pretty nice that's, one there. That's a good shot again. He's around C1, 8 meters. He wow, yeah. he doesn't seem to, you know, feel the pressure or anything. No. Looks like it's normal. Yeah, he seems comfortable out there. Lowry goes a little bit, pushes too straight before the fade and... Gets most of the distance, but he's he's in there, in the rough, pin mm. higher, so. Yeah, and as you can see, the players need to stop pretty early, as Silver is catching a tree, trying to go out. Third yeah. shot now for the Estonian. And he's still deep in the woods here. Has to go another forehand roller. This one's better. Come on, get back. Gets caught mm -hmm. up in that bush, though, and he's in trouble. It's kind of worst case scenario here on this one. I mean, I guess didn't go OB, but stuck in the woods and yeah, numbers starting to add up quick. Yeah, weird from Silva, you know, let's say his strengths and his main throwing technique is forehand, but uh, he's always easy with the backhand. Just too early on the release from the tee box. Yeah, so he's going to get up and down for a double bogey, but... That's going to wipe out those two birdies to start, so back to scratch. Yeah. Lowry has to kind of work out from behind that bush. Not able to get it right on point, but decent effort. Oh. And as Lowry on hole two, heavy chains right side. Not able, not able to capitalize a good drive. Clay. Getting it done there for par. Yeah, good cleanup from our US guests. And Lowry a bit low. Gets it in though. 3.23 average on this one, so it's the uh, same same layout for the FPO and we had some birdies this morning. Yeni Karpinen yeah. did really well on it. Yeah man, Yeni parked it. She hit in the, the pole. morning. Yeah. Crazy. 
an amazing shot if you want to see that you just need to watch whole three on the second round fpo yeah check out that fpo coverage if she really showed those boys how to do it we are here we are one we will fight we will fall we will prevail from the fjords of norway to the shores of spain from the fire of Iceland to the hope of Ukraine. 30 countries, one voice. Go Europe. So yeah, we had Timu Talikainen and Jakub Semerad heating up on the chase in the third card. And let's roll hole four. Part three, 107 meters, another thick wood shot. A little bit uphill you got to try to work it past these guardian trees quite a lot of stuff to beat at the very end of the flight but uh definitely one you want to get Average yeah under par yeah 2.96 definitely different than the fpo layout they can just go straight at the basket here you need to go straight and try to have a late turn on your flight or going for the forehand option as clay is uh, doing right now he little, needs a little bit turn. high maybe was it yeah, it's going to fade off a little bit early to the right side, but... It's okay. He has a look from the right side there. He went through pretty nice. Straight and down. Another good-looking shot. Unfortunate kick on those late gardens. A little bit slow start for Lowry. Three pars. See if he can get things going here on this one. Oh, Looking yeah. Really good. Catches a late tree, but... Right on the circle's edge for a birdie chance. Yeah. Almost a perfect line from Lowry. He will have a C1 opportunity. Silver looking to bounce back. Catches the birches and circle's edge putt for him as well. Yeah, again. Let's see if they can make this happen. Yeah, Clay got stuck down here in the little uh, ditch. Gives it a good chance, but um, he's going to take the par. And let's see if Linus is going aggressive again. Oh, right Second online. band of the round. Two and four holes. He's all over the basket when he gets in the stick. Look at that. Another C2 connection. He's so silver. he's so comfortable from uh, from outside the C the C1 outside the, the 10 meters. He's so impressive. Yeah, really high percentage putting, especially this weekend. Lowry just a little bit high. Hits the band, maybe a little bit of chains, but frustrating start for him. Yeah, and it feels like he had three opportunities yeah. until now. Just can't get the putter going. Yep, not too able to capitalize until now. Plenty of room to play still, but um, yeah, no one's really running away with it. I think Clay's at nine, Linus at nine. He's only one back still, so. No harm, no yeah. foul, but still yeah, pretty tight. a lot of missed opportunities, that's for sure. And here we are, island hole, number five, par three, 80 meters. Linus aced it yesterday, no video footage, but it uh, must have been a sweet shot. Favors really well for forehand. Uh, drop zone's pretty difficult, so you definitely want to stick to island, otherwise you're going to have yourself a bogey, that's for sure. Yep. Let's go forehand option to me is the main as we saw this morning with the FPO backhand is definitely a possibility, an option, even to park the hole. Yeah, just a lot scarier. You have to kind of get through those trees. That's really nicely done from Silver. Yeah, it just opens up nicely on the left side. Second part of the fairway. Good shot from Silver. It looked like a bit late but ended up pretty nicely as you can see that's the flex shot i'm talking about yeah that seems to be a really high percentage play if you're comfortable with that you can put it close almost every time that yep. one hits a late tree and comes up a little bit short but he's inside the circle anyway good shot from clay and same line i this one looks like the perfect the perfect one it could be a bit long but good catch on that tree should be a second birdie for uh for linus Oops. Oh, really heavy angle, hits an early tree and kicks le kicks to the right side. Never really had a chance on that one. Yeah, he will go 
instantly to the drop zone. So yeah, slow start and now bogey at least. Doesn't take any time, just jump putt approach. Starting to get frustrated, you can tell. Four pars and now a bogey coming up, so not the start he was looking for here on moving day. Moving in the wrong direction right now. Yeah, definitely. Sweet putt there. Three down. Uh, for uh, as he did as he did on the first round. He was super slow on the front nine. And made an amazing back nine. So let's see if he's able to make the same today. He's such a high quality player that yeah, you know, he's always gonna turn in good rounds. It's just some of those some of those streaks of bad holes in a row can be frustrating and get you down. But yeah, he's so professional, he's not gonna let that stop him. He's gonna kick it into gear here pretty soon, I'm sure. Yeah, you can see the difference between Silva's scorecard and Lauri's. A lot of birdies, super aggressive, able to capitalize on Silva's side. Yeah, and just Lauri, that. just one mistake, some some putts, missed putts. So yeah. Yeah, without that six. double bogey, Silver be way up in the lead right now, but yeah, hole, hole six, par four, 177 meters. Very tight turn from left to right and then back right to left. Quite a demanding hole, even though it's not that that much of a long one. It's quite uphill and uh, it can give give players a lot of grief. 4.69 average, so. One of the hardest? The hardest. The hardest hole in the course. So yeah, placement shot out of the tee, trying to get straight, not too long, not too short. It's a very short landing zone. Oh, that's a good kick right there. It could be a good kick in the end. He should have a tight angle for a flex shot. Oh, and that looks better. Right down the pipe. That's exactly what you're looking for. He will have a look to go straight and let the fade do the job to go to the basket. Where is it? A little bit early released, fights through and kicks back to the fairway, luckily. Yep, early, back in the middle. Not too much trouble. Lowry flirting with that right side. OB over there. Oh, oh my god. No. Disastrous start for Lowry. And there you see it, visibly frustrated, just letting out a sigh. Trying to get himself together here, yep. struggling. And it's easy to say, but he needs to make a choice, you know. Just staying focused, positive. Kind of I a disaster think, yeah, start, he, though. He can do it. No worries. That's definitely what, not what he's looking for, but he can he can make it happen. Takes his relief back on the line of play, and then jump putts up to the corner. Veteran move. Yeah, wise play. No one needs to find a way to just. Uh, Ease the damage, just a bogey. He needs to Ooh. make an amazing four shot and what a line. Silver getting sneaky through all that. Yeah. There was some heavy trees over there and he somehow stayed clean. He's got himself a birdie look. And as you can see, Clay, Clay in perfect is at the position. sweet spot, exactly what you're looking for. And he just smashes it all the way up to the basket. He's starting to look real good here. He's just really comfortable in the woods. North Carolina disc golfer. He's, he's happy with these kind of uh, shapes and lines. This is like right up his alley. Yeah. He mentioned it. Looks like home. Yeah. Into those Norway's, Norwegian woods. Great to have him over here. He's going to be touring all the way on the European season up into Estonia. Yeah. Pleasure to have him here in Europe until European Disc Golf Festival and an amazing shot from Lowry. Yeah. Great recovery there. Just what he needed to kind of stop the bleeding and just let it go. Yeah, stay in the moment, one shot at a time. Can't fix the past, but got to just keep moving forward, get as many birdies as you can. He knows that. He's uh, He's been playing for a long time. Good, good save from Linus, seven meters, good clean up, good for the confidence. He looks pretty comfortable on the green since the start of the round. Silver, easy birdie. Got no pars. Just Easy birdie, but sneaky one also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love that kind lucky. of scorecard, man. Look at that. You know, <laughs> just a major mistake, but only birdies, just kind of ups and downs. Yeah, I'm sure he'd love to have that whole three back. But uh, five birdies through six, can't complain. Yeah, man. 
It's still tight there at the top. Clay, one stroke lead. And on to hole 7, downhill par 3, not the easiest, averaging just below the bar. Yeah, again, slightly downhill all the way to the basket, again a straight shot. So yeah, yeah. We, can, we can say the same on every hole, try to keep your line. A lot of nice tunnel shots, yeah, here on this one, 112 meters downhill as you said, so when you want to get, but quite a few trees. Yeah, more of a 100 meters shot that will go with a, probably go with a mid-range or a putter. And for sure, Silva is going forehand here a bit early. Yeah, not yeah. so lucky this time, gets caught up on the right side. Not able to go through. Working that right side, gets a kick to the left. Yeah, late release, kick to the to the left side. You know, flipping up something nice down the middle. Oh. oh, that one branch took the speed off it, but he's still in pretty good position. Looked perfect. Long C2 look now. Lowry without a birdie yet. You rarely see that. But this yeah. is looking like a chance for him. Look at that, straight as an arrow. Can it speed check? Yes, sir. And a good groundwork also. Yeah. Yeah, Checks no well. work needed on the green for Lowry. Good for him. That's exactly what he needed. Turn things around before it gets too late. Yeah, time to bounce back. Silver stretching out and just smoothing one right up there to the basket. So much touch on this approach. Good control looks too easy for him yeah it's like a work of art just smooth stroke every time and good scramble from clay he will take the par from inside the woods left side exactly what he needs super clean scorecard until now Venus just misses left and he keeps being aggressive on the green I'd like to see it yeah really it's rare to see I won't say a rookie, but, you know, he could just not handle the pressure the right way. It happens a lot. Yeah, unfortunately. He's just going for it. Miss on the comebacker. Splashed out a little bit low right. Could have caught, but it's going to cost him a stroke, so he's going to have to give one back. And pretty surprising to see that hole averaging in, under the par. It's really a tough one. Pretty in demanding. The On to hole eight. Yep, par 497 meters. Got this OB right and left, right around the creek. There you see it, and it turns a little bit to the right, slowly but surely. And a lot of trees in the line here. You gotta get really greasy and sneak one in here. You gotta hit it clean and pure. Then it kinda turns a little bit back here at the end. Basket tucked behind on the right. Those three birches can be an issue. Yeah, you need two good shots. As usual, you, you will tell me, but yeah, slightly and hyzer line out of the tee. Going out of those woods and <laughs> Tommy Tico putting on the show. Clowning around. Some great energy, keeping the... Back in turnover for Lauri. A that bit looks too much. Really good, nah, I think. Yeah. Perfect. Oh yeah. Sweet spot for Lauri. Great shot. Yeah. Beautiful shot. Nice shot boy. Tommy approved. Yeah. Caddy approved. Let's go. That's the way to recover and to get back those strokes. And Silva with uh, his first bar on the previous one. Yeah. Big Heiser Ooh. forehand, crazy skip, kick, and a roll back to the fairway. Oh, yeah. Crazy Arnova! reaction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see him getting a smile out of Lowry there. and It's kind of a crazy reaction, but perfect result, really. Yeah, he's around the spot, and Clay...
pretty wide and pretty okay in the end. Yeah, not a ton of distance, but good position right in the middle of the fairway. Big turnover here from Linus. Yeah. Kicks off. A little overcooked here, but okay. He'll be stuck into those trees right side. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Yeah. Too much inside. He'll be stuck into those woods just before the green. Flex yeah. shot. That looks good. Again. Really good. Oh my god. Good Is it a reaction. rock? Rock or stomp? Yeah, possibly a rock, I'd say. Fantastic. And you can see how Lowry and Silver are super far down the fairway. Really, oh, yeah. Really nice one. And a good reaction again. Yeah, some rocks helping. Rock saved him. Came in kind of hot. Could have been over in the field, but luckily checks up there on the rocks. Silver with a similar looking line. Comes in a little bit softer, and he's going to have a birdie really look, too. Really nice. Really great approaches there. Yeah, man. A little bit of luck on the ground play, I guess. But mm. A bit of help. Yeah. Happens sometime in those woods. Now he needs this one. Perfect. Ooh, it's, low. yeah, a bit low, a bit left. But it's inside the chain, staying to the basket. And he gets those two strokes back. Yeah. See him feeling pretty relieved. Got two birdies in a row after those two bogeys. Nice putt from Silver. Nice putt. Two, March 11 level. down. Yeah, four down for the round. Ton of birdies. Clay, five down for the round. And outright leader here. Three birdies. Keeping a clean sheet. Solid. Yeah, Clay is so clean on this, on this front nine. Just need to make this happen on hole nine. Par four, super short one. Yeah, only 119. Really tight though. Lots of twists and turns. Lots can go wrong. Very thick rough. Not the hole you want to play around with too much. Just try to stay in the fairway. You know, work your way up there slow. You can't bite off too much. Position play all the way. Yeah, placement shot. Forehand option to me from the tee. Try to be as deep as possible to see the basket and have a straight shot on the second. Yeah, second easiest on the course, 3.86 average, but 21% taking bogey or worse, so it can definitely bite you. Yeah, and Lowry caught it by some trees at the end of the flight, almost perfect. A bit too deep. Silver with a forehand mm -hmm. chipper, kind of a weird skip this time. Yeah, bad reaction, must have hit something. Oh, and it looks like a bit late for Clay. Worked out and fine. Yeah, in the end, the result is perfect. Sweet spot for Clay. He'll be able to attack the basket. Oh, wow. That was bad. Super early kick. That's definitely not what you want. Uh, oh, yeah. and a good kick in the end. Yeah, he will scramble to save a bogey. Throwing three really high. Oh. Kind of a strange forehand shot. Yeah, maybe not the wisest choice on this third shot. I don't think he progressed very far there. He's yeah. getting out a little bit out of hand here for Axel on this one. Not sure what happened to his disc. Ooh, that was looking like tracking OB. Fortunately, <laughs> he cut that tree left side. Oh, too much angle from Lowry. Cut, roll, into the ditch. There's a little creek there. Safe from the OB, but a little bit awkward spot. Yeah, some weird mistakes from Lowry. Not used to see that from him. Clay's up shot's pretty good. Doesn't get any slide, but still pretty near the basket. And you can see Linus in a hard situation right now. Fifth shot. And still some way to go. Yeah, double so boogie. Double boogie for Linus. Go to seven down. We'll see the impact on the scoreboard. Yeah, Lowry not really wanting any of that. Nothing he can do, just putting it close. See over here looking for a big highlight putt. Oh, and almost in. Yeah. Good height. A little wide right. Clay needs this to move to 13 down. He's got it. Dialed. 
two strokes clear of second place. Six down for the round. Six down through nine. Solo leader after nine holes. Yeah, nothing flashy, just solid fundamental disc golf and really craftsman in the woods, huh? Easy, man. He Fifth. took all the opportunities, I'm pretty sure. He didn't yeah. do any mistakes on this now on this front nine. He looks calm and comfortable out there. Yeah. Def definitely a great woods player. Looks heard, like home. Yeah, yeah, I overheard him talking about how he likes this European style disc golf. And it's uh, really cool to see him out here doing his thing. So yeah play Edwards in the lead silver following Yalte hot yeah hot yeah, with five, kind of. yeah yeah a couple five downs there really nice Making but yeah moves. clay and silver only players with uh, the two digit under the par yeah. and yeah good round in the end some mistakes from Lauri bad finish from uh, Linus but uh, yeah good disc golf to watch yeah a lot of fun make sure you come on back for back nine round two and consider joining that patreon.com mdg family help support what we're doing here bringing you disc golf coverage yep thank you guys for watching thank you andrew for commenting with me happy to be here man pleasure as always doing and a great job we'll see you on the back nine <laughs>